of our 15 coast-to-coast -coast new trans-systemic party primary debates. As I'm sure you all well know, our candidates are here tonight, hoping to be the party nominee for the upcoming LSA presidential elections. So we'll start right away with a question for you, Representative Madden. Some have called you a surprise candidate, not possessing the experience, the obvious experience of your rival. How do you respond to these claims? We must deport all snails! Yes, yes, Representative. <laughs> We, we will get to immigration soon, but first a word on experience. When elected, I will build a giant electric fence around the Jambin library. Also, we must lower tuition fees for all those students who get stages. They're job creators, and their prosperity will trickle down to all those weirdos to the great uh, Thank you, Representative Madden. Uh, the next question is for you, Governor Zeisman. Uh, the current LSA administration has accused you of making completely reckless claims and proposing brutal cuts in your budget plan. What response do you offer? Well, it's quite simple actually. You see, our entitled tax and spend friends, they just don't value the hard work of your average law student anymore. Under my plan, I would cut three, generally three, three, three of the agencies that we no longer need. Which, which agencies would you cut, sir? Well, first of all, I would cut the CEO. I mean, have you seen this year's two L's? There's no hope in hell anyone could ever get them hired. Am I right? Am I right, people? And secondly, this LSA. The last thing our economy needs is yet another one of these bloated unions. <laughs> no, Governor Zeisman, you do realize that you are, in fact, running to be president of the LSA. Irrelevant! We could easily replace all of our law students with much cheaper exchange students. <laughs> at a fraction of the price to the hard-working taxpayers. Did you know that the average law student needs ten times more extent, no more... I'm sorry. <laughs> needs ten times more attention than their exchange counterparts. I figure if we move this entire law school overseas, we could literally save bajillions. <laughs> Sir, that's two, and what would be the third agency you cut? Well, well now, uh, it's three agencies, and when I get there, they're gone. You got your, your CEO, and your LSA, and uh, now, uh, what's, what's the third one there? I see, uh... <laughs> CEO, the LSA, and, uh, uh, The SAO? Oh, uh, yeah, the SAO! No, 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 wait. <laughs> sir, is the SAO the one you were talking about? No, 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 sir. No, we're talking about three agencies here. The, the, C, the, the SAO needs to be rebuilt. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But, uh... But, but you can't name the third one? Well, uh... Hmm. Yeah, the CDO, and let's see, uh, I, I can't, I, goops. Uh, sorry, sir, well, given our limited time, we must move on. Sorry, Governor. I see that we do have a question here from the floor. Thank you, please, please go ahead. Um, uh, hi, uh, my, my question is for uh, Re Representative Matt. In 2012, uh, you took your 24-year-old law partner, Frank, on a 12-hour uh, road trip uh, tied to the roof of your car. Uh, I have a law partner, and I, I would never do such a thing. Uh, what were you thinking? Thank you. against the law, we loved all our law partners. 
Uh, just for the record, everyone, I would like to assure everyone that Frank did successfully complete his 1L year and is currently a happy and healthy 2L. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we do have to limit things. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone for their participation. We do not have any more time. Remember, LSA voting does start later this month, and uh, as you can all see, that we have a lot to think about. God bless you. God bless Medium Law School. Thank you.